Charlie Parsons for Boxing Social and Association with William Hill and Empire Fight Store. Delighted to be joined here by, I'd probably say, my Mexican father, Roberto Diaz. Uh, always a pleasure to see you, my friend. How are you? Likewise, son. Likewise. Always good to see you, Charlie. Um, we've just seen Regis Progre here. He's just won, uh, well, retained his WBC world title against uh, your man Zorilla. Uh, a split decision, actually. One of the, the judges giving Zorilla the fight. A lot of people online saying Zorilla had done enough, but almost in a way that he hadn't he'd done enough to nick it on the cards, maybe, but not enough appealing sort of work. What did you make of it? Yeah, it wasn't. I mean, look, when you see the characteristics of both fighters, both have high knockout ratios you expected a, a, a showdown you expected a <laughs> fireworks to go in fact after the first round i said this is going to heat up real quick it's unfortunate i'm <laughs> i apologize but look sometimes the stars don't align and you don't get what you want sometimes it's luck it's unfortunate but uh i thought it was just a very dull fight you know on both sides uh i i, I could see regis a little frustrated trying to like say stay put and let's you know go to toe Toe to toe, and sorry, I look. He took the fight on short notice. There's no excuse. He needed to let his hands go, and I think we could have had a better outcome. But um, what can you say? It's like for both of them, you know, for Regis, go back, get in the gym. He said something like that. He has to go back to the drawing board, and 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 work on some stuff and look for bigger and better fights. Regis had sort of fairly short notice for this fight. He also had to deal with, it was meant to be Liam Power, and then they were sort of lining it up to be Arnold Barboza. I think Zarilla was only on four weeks' notice. He struggled a little bit with a weight cut this week. He was quite open about it. Um, would it be fair to say a bit of an off night for Regis? I, I think so. I, I think we didn't see either of them in their best moment. Um, you know, sometimes you, as a fan... Uh, you want to give the fans the best. You want to give excitement. And today we, we came up short on both ends. Well, let's little talk a little bit about the females. Guzman had a, a really, really impressive knockout victory over Ramla Ali. Spoke to you afterwards. You said you weren't surprised at all. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? You know, uh, it's, just, it's, it's like in boxing, anything, you know, styles make fights. I mean, I think uh, Guzman knew that she had to come forward and, and, and come strong. And uh, for those that knew her, knew that, this was a big opportunity for her. I think Ali, you know, engaged a little bit too much. She, she has a lot of skill from the, her amateur pedigree. Box, stick and move would have been a bitter, but you know, she's brave and she's gonna learn from this and, and better on and, you know, come back and be a world champion once again. Robert, just a few final ones from me. I want to catch up properly in depth next week, but looking forward, your man, Jason Quigley, uh, looks to take the O from uh, Edgar Belanga. Maybe a good time to fight Belanga. He had 16 first-round knockouts in a row and then coming off the back of four uh, points victories. Do you feel like the pressure's on Belanga to maybe deliver a knockout here? Absolutely, absolutely. Look, he's fighting at home. Uh, obviously, there's going to be a lot of Irish, and we're expecting a lot of Irish support, but the pressure's on him. Jason has no pressure. He's going to come in, uh, has his plan. He's prepared. He's hungry. He's motivated. But all the pressures on Berlanga, he needs to look spectacular if he wants these bigger fights. So it's, it's two fights back to back that were, you know, the, the odds were totally stacked against us. But that's what I love. I love to bring in uh, the underdog yeah. because at the end of the night, when you pull it off, more power to the fighter. Let me ask you about uh, Ryan Garcia and the current promotional dispute with Golden Boy. Uh, what do you make of it all? Ryan's not been too vocal online. Um, well, I mean, as of in the last week or so, there were, you know, Oscar was putting out tweets, etc. You know, should we make this fight a Pacquiao fight? And Ryan's like, you know, this isn't in my plans. Why are you doing this? It's now ended up uh, a lawsuit is happening. What do you make of it all? Quite sad to see. It is. It is. You know, it's unfortunate. It's it's part of life, it's part of boxing. There's always going to be uh, two sides to every story. Um, but I personally, personally, and that's just my personal opinion, these things, they need to be ironed out and taken care of behind closed doors, not out publicly. That's just my personal opinion. Okay, um, just lastly from me, Oscar's put some tweets out tonight regarding Eddie Hearn. I want to get your thoughts on them, if possible. Uh, like Bob Arum said, Eddie Hearn has no clue what he's doing in the US. I've been promoting for 20 years and I will promote for another 40. Another shitty card from Eddie Hearn in the US. Go back to the UK and watch another fight of the year candidate in Virgil Ortiz versus Stanionis. 
You know what? Um, no comment. No comment on that. What I could say is uh, if we love boxing, we need to support boxing on all angles. We work together all the time. Uh, in my personal opinion, I'm, I'm independent now. I'm here to work with everybody and try to make the best fights possible. That's always been my motto, and that's going to continue to be it. Well, Robert, always a pleasure. We will catch up in depth next week. I look forward to some dinners, we'll some tequila, some, dinners some mezcal, all Absolutely. sorts. Um, final message ahead of next week. Really excited for your man, Jason Quigley? Absolutely. Jason's motivated. He's excited. We know it's not going to be easy. We have a tremendous respect for Berlanga, but that's the beauty of boxing. Boxing's of opportunities, like we saw tonight. We could have passed on like many others did, but Soria was in the gym training, not the full camp, but it's opportunities. You don't let them go by. We'll see everybody in New York next Saturday, Berlanga versus Quigley on The Zone.